Many thanks for your time, Mustafa Al Ali, for that beautiful recitation of the Holy Quran. We are now um, the episode of Daily Dua. Yeah. Um, and this this particular episode, or this particular actually segment, uh, is where we uncover some of the jewels within our, our literature. Um, and this is the ziyaras or the du'as or the supplications, something that we can offer which is a bit different. People don't really know much about these ziyaras and no, du'as. No, and even if you recite them, you often find, you know, not everyone who's a native Arab speaker will um, actually look at the meaning. And it's beautiful to get the interpretation of someone that recites the du'as and, you know, their perspective. So. And our expert in this field yeah. um, is uh, Ibrahim uh, Al-Ansari. Uh, assalamu alaikum, Ibrahim. How are you? Alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. Welcome. Ben. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me once again. Absolute pleasure. Our pleasure. Absolute pleasure. Absolutely. Um, today's particular du'a, um, yeah. or ziyara actually, um, I've, I've put an underline mm. on Mondays yeah. because it's the ziyara of Imam Hassan salam on Mondays. Um, so I'd love to find out more about, number one, why, why is it ziyara of Imam Hassan on, on the Monday? So we'll delve into it, you know, yeah. the particular days of the week where certain ziyaras are recommended to be recited. Um, so yeah, walk us through the, the ziyarah of Imam Hassan, Imam Hassan on Mondays. What's so, um, of course, every day of the week um, just belongs to one of mm. the infallibles, mm. one or two. Mm. Uh, Monday, for example, um, it is referred to as ziyarah Imam al Hassan. However, it is for both Imam Hassan and Imam Hussein. Okay. And you realize that towards the end, where um, the ziyara then turns into uh, talking towards Imam Hussein as well, oh, right. talking mm. to both of them. Mm. Is that the whole ziyara? Yeah, this what we have in front of us is actually the whole ziyara for zi the ziyara of Monday. Oh, okay, brilliant. Yeah, it's quite short, uh, simple, um, not too long. Mm. Uh, something that can be recited to start of your day, mm. and I think a very beautiful way to start of the day is by actually talking to the Masumin as at the end of the day, after Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, um, they are there to aid us and I they agree. are there to help us throughout the day. Definitely. Um, would you like to um, start with the ziyar so we can yeah, have a bit of a... Yeah, definitely. <coughs> Thank you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad Assalamu alayka ya ibn Rasulillah Assalamu alayka ya ibn Amir al-Mu'mineen Assalamu alayka ya ibn Sayyidati Nisai al-Alameen أشهد أنك أقمت الصلاة وآتيت الزكاة وأمرت بالمعروف ونهيت عن المنكر وعبدت الله مخلصا وجاهدت في الله حق جهاده حتى أتاك اليقين فعليك السلام مني ما بقيت وبقي الليل والنهار وعلى آل بيتك الطيبين الطاهرين أنا يا مولاي مولا لك ولآل بيتك سلم لمن سالمكم وحرب لمن حاربكم مؤمن بسركم وجهركم وظاهركم وباطنكم لعن الله أعداءكم من الأولين والآخرين وأنا أبرأ إلى الله تعالى منهم يا مولاي يا أبا محمد يا مولاي يا, يا أبا عبد الله هذا يوم الاثنين وهو يومكما وباسمكما وأنا فيه ضيفكما فاضيفاني و أحسن ضيافتي فنعم من استضيف به أنتما وأنا فيه من جواركما فأجيراني فإنكما مأموران بالضيافة والإجارة فصلى الله عليكما وآلكما الطيبين اللهم صل على محمد, محمد وآل محمد Thank you so much. Very beautiful. Thank you. Jazakum I have to say, it's my favorite part of the morning to yeah. be able to start the day listening to your voice. And, you know. So tell us, how, how does the um, ziyara start and then end? Because I think within the Arabic, it started off as one person or yeah. speaking to one person. Yeah. And then it included two people. So how does it, how does it work? So at the start, um, <coughs> it was directly talking to uh, Imam al-Hassan, alayhi afdal salati was salam. Um, but also at the same time, um, it is in a way funny where 
we can actually also link it to Imam al Hussein mm. because everything mentioned at the very start Relates. until the names are actually mentioned actually belong to both of them. Mm. Whereas you make it seem as if you're directing it at one person. Mm. Only after does it then say, Ya Mawla, Ya Aba Muhammad, it's focusing on Imam al Hassan, and then says, Ya Mawla, Ya Aba Abdullah, mm. Imam al Hussein. So the very first part, although our minds usually go to Imam al Hassan alone, whereas we can actually link it to Imam al Hussein too. Mm. Mm. And in that way, for, uh, the ziyara is actually talking to both of them, but individually at the same time. So that is basically how, how it works. Right. Then it moves to um, actually talking to the Imams. Ya Mawla, Ya Aba Muhammad, Ya Mawla, Ya Aba Abdullah. Today is the day of Monday. And it is your day. The your is for both of you. Mm. Your mukuma. Mm. This is your day. Wa bismikuma. And in your name. And I am here as a guest. I have come to you on this Monday uh, as a guest. So it is picturing the ziyara as if it is their house, let's say, as if Monday mm. is their house and we are coming here as a guest. Mm. And then he says, so um, welcome me. Yeah. And I think this is a very beautiful mm. um, uh, part of the ziyara where it is actually, where you're actually asking the imams to welcome you, to bring you in. And you are the best of those who have welcomed anyone. Yeah, even says, make me feel at home. Yes. Brilliant. It's a spiritual uh, Definitely. dimension, isn't it? It's not saying, obviously, physically you're sat at home reciting. Um, but in a, if your heart is in this dua and, and you know, ziyara, you will be thinking about, actually, what would it be like to be speaking to them directly and not to have a barrier of where we are physically constrained. Yeah. So, um, and I guess that's the welcoming, isn't it? Yes, definitely. Mm. And the, the other part... It's, um, th there's, there's a specific part in the ziyara where people might actually uh, look at it as rude. So some people try to mm. make it seem as if it's a rude part, which is where you tell the imam, you have been ordered <laughs> to welcome me. No, it is not rude at all. It is you telling the imam, oh imam, I am here. You, you, have, you have taken yourself down. Please take me in. Mm. So first you're asking, please take me in. Then you tell him, you have been ordered by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to take me in. And then what do you say? And you are the best of those who do so. Mm. So in, 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 in any way, there's this, this, this thing, I don't know, it's, it seems as if it's an, an illness within mm. um, specific people where even within the Shia sect themselves, where they try to belittle the mm. Imam, where they try mm. to find the smallest word to actually take away from the status, to make it seem as if the way we talk towards the Imams, or in fact, since the ziyaras are all from the Imams themselves, mm. to say that even the Imams couldn't speak. Mm. And hash, hasha lahum, that they could not actually speak in, in a proper manner, because mm. their akhlaq is always on top. Mm. Absolutely, they are the guides. Um, I mean, what my mind, as you were saying that, was that they are created to guide mankind. And I think we shouldn't look at them as not in this world, they are alive, they are more alive than we are. Um, and to say that when you go to the, the harams and their shrines, um, it's visiting as though we're visiting them. So to yeah. say that actually Allah has given you that ability to still guide me in this time, even though physically I may not be able to see that Imam. Um, but I, and I guess that's where what you're saying is that, you know, Allah has given them that authority Definitely. to give that guidance. So please give that guidance to me. Yeah. Definitely. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's Definitely. not really... It's, it's, it's within our rights to ask for that guidance. Absolutely. Wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't you say? Sorry? It's, it's within our rights to ask for, the, for, for that guidance. No, most definitely. Definitely, I would agree. Yeah. I mean, of course, we have to make that effort. But since we've made the effort and these imams mm -hmm. are the most, like, Absolutely. the most generous of people to be able to give comfort and ease in times of our, our trials, yeah. why, why, why wouldn't, like, why, why would it be an issue if... If you know, if they have been assigned, they've yeah. been assigned yes. to be to be a mercy towards us all. Yeah. Definitely. So, and if if we're taking that one step, if Allah Subhanahu wa Taala in His infinite wisdom, we take one step towards Him, He takes ten, ten, ste ten steps towards us, and then of course the Imams gonna, are going to have a bit of those qualities, won't yeah. they? Yeah, definitely. And, and in a lot of the du'as or ziyaras, we actually say, um, and aid me, take me away from shirk and dalala. Yeah. Mm. So. This, this is, as you said, I, I, don't, I don't like to say it's their job, but this is what they have been assigned to do, as yeah. you beautifully said, um, that they have been sent 
after the Prophet to carry on this message to make sure that because in every Asr, in every Zaman, in every time there is an Imam to actually help us. Of course, we have our Imam who yeah. is not present today, but we can we can look towards him as well. Yeah. Oh, Imam Mahdi, come and aid us. Yeah. On Mondays is, is the house of Imam Hassan and Hussein. That's Welcome brilliant. me into this day and aid me throughout this day. Yeah. You know, I mean, they are the children of Rasulullah and you think, you know, I often think about him and, you know, out of all the prophets, how much mercy he never once turned his back to his people Definitely. and he never will till the day of judgment. And yet how much he was tortured yeah. and, you know, troubled by the people that were around him. And I'm sure we don't, you know, justify mm -hmm. as Muslims to behave in the best that we can. Definitely. But for his akhlaq was always on point, wasn't it? And I think, yeah. you know, when you turn to them and his children are you know, continuing his message. So it's not, it's, it's like you said, it's our right to be, who would we turn to if we didn't exactly. have their mercy? Didn't and have they will mercy. never take, turn anyone away. No. That's, that's the beautiful thing. Exactly. And he said, and he said um, about the Prophet, mm. keeping in mind that we have a saying that says, Ma udhi ya nabi ka ma udhi. Exactly. No Prophet has been, yeah. um, ha has had hardships or has been tortured in the way that you have. No. So yeah. and, and then for them to still welcome you, for them to still um, bring you in and from, for them to still show you the maximum amount of mercy where they truly yeah. show the mercy of Allah, but in this world through a human being. Brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. Just in the last couple of uh, minutes, uh, uh, and again, I know that most of the ziyaras and the du'as can be found in Mufatih al Janan. Yeah. Is this one the same? Yes, definitely. In fact, there's a section in Mufatih al Janan. Um, so it starts off with, with the Quran. Mm. And then it goes on to the uh, du'as of the day. Mm. And then so every day has a specific du'a as yeah. well. And then there's another section which is the ziyaras, the ziyaras of the imams during, the, of the infallible, sorry, during the day. So mm. you'll find the ziyara on Sunday, the ziyara on Monday, the ziyara wow. on Tuesday. Or the each way. of the infallibles have a, sp have a specific yes, ziyara a specific. for each of the days. Yes. And, but this one... Uh, although it's a ziyarah of Imam Hassan salam, it still combines Imam Hussein. Yes, because right. of course we mention Aba Abdullah. So mm. Monday it says, Yo Mukuma, mm. both of you, wa bismikuma, in both of your names. However, the title is Imam Hassan. The, the title is, usually refers to Imam Hassan. Mm -hmm. And in fact, there's another ziyarah within that section that is solely just Imam Hassan. It okay. doesn't actually okay, include Imam sense. Hussein as well. All right, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Well, we have mo Monday morning blues, so <laughs> this is a beautiful way to start <laughs> the day. Brilliant. <laughs> um, and bless your week ahead, isn't it? So, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Brilliant. Um, thank you so much. That was really thank enlightening. Thank you very much. And, uh, yeah, Shall brilliant. We'll thank, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you so much, you um, much. for for your time, Ibrahim, as as Zara is mentioning, and um, Zara going to be seeing you again after the break, yeah. um, as uh, your adventure continues with Brother, Brother Bilal, Bilal yeah. um, in the special segment. So um, keep an eye out for that after the break. Grab a cup of tea. <laughs>